Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again and here with a top down video for the first time in a while. And that's because we're doing my N22 throttling test. We have a number of Snapdragon and Dimensity devices here, starting with the Mi 10T Pro, which is using the Snapdragon 865. We have the Realme X7 Pro with the Dimensity 1000 Plus, the brand new Redmi Note 9 Pro with the Snapdragon 750G. We have the Ulephone Armor 5G, which is the one phone in my possession right now that is using the Dimensity 800 and last but not least the Poco M3 with the Snapdragon 662. And if you haven't seen one of these tests before, basically I'm going to run N22 benchmark here for one hour on these devices. That should amount to six benchmark tests and the goal is to see do these phones throttle and how low will the score go on any of these devices once they start overheating. You see it's 25 degrees right now in this room. It's pretty warm and I will be keeping a timer here with my trusty Poco phone F1. So which of these phones will throttle the most and will Dimensity prevail over Snapdragon in this test? Let's have a look. All right, switching to HD recording because it's gonna be a long, big file. And just wanted to show you, I'll be checking the CPU temps after each test. And I'll also be using that physical thermometer to gauge the actual temperatures of these phones. So here we go. Start the timer. Test for the first time on the Note 9 Pro 5G. Here we go, guys. Test one. Let's see how we do. All right, guys, and here we go. Test one completed. Still waiting on the Poco M3, but we can check how these phones did and consider this the baseline score for this test. 572,000, 522, 346, and 315. And now let's go ahead and measure or check the CPU monitors on these phones. 41 degrees, 45 on the Dimensity 1000 Plus, 43, 36 on the Dimensity 800. Wow, that's really cool. And there you see them, they're in the 40 range. And I'm measuring the actual temperatures of the phones. 38 degrees, 41.7, 37.6, 36.1. And there's the Poco M3, 179,000, 37 degrees Celsius. Let's not waste any time. Test number two with these phones. Test number two, let's see how we do. All right, guys, and we're done with test number two on these phones. So let's check on the Mi 10 Pro, 571,000, still in the range. And the Dimensity 1000 Plus also did not drop too much. Redmi Note 9 Pro, 350,000. It even got a higher score, guys, in the second round. Incredible. And the Armor 10 with the Dimensity 800U, doing very well as well. Let's have a look. Phone too hot, screen brightness reduced. I did notice that, guys. But looking at the temps, 44 degrees, 50 degrees on the Dimensity 1000 plus 42 degrees on the Redmi Note 9 Pro 5G 39 on the Dimensity 800 and the Poco M3 is coming in now let's see the result 171,000 and they received 37 degrees so what an interesting result here and now measuring the actual temperatures of the phones too high this means it's past 42 degrees guys surprising to see it here 41.6 36.7 and 38.2 but here we go guys test number three testing again so far though the results pretty good on these phones but let's see how they do after test number three All right, guys, test three completed on at least these four phones. And look at the results. All of these phones holding strong. The Armor 10 5G with the Dimensity 800 is still not dipped below 300,000. And all of these phones are still in the similar range. But now let's check the CPU temps. 46 degrees, getting hotter here on the Snapdragon 865. 55 degrees on the Realme X7 Pro. That is insane. 42 degrees on the Snapdragon 750. And we finally passed the 40 degree mark here on the Dimensity. 800 and there goes the Poco M3 still staying in the same range as before now measuring the actual ambient temps of the phones high once again it is too hot to even manage look at that 53.2 you can see it here on the graph 42.6 38.1 and 37.8 and these graphs really show you how hot these phones get and this graph is just insane look how hot the Dimensity 1000 plus gets but let's go into it guys test number four here on these phones and now it's getting and serious. <laughs> Let's see how they do.
All right, guys, here we see test number four completed and a little bit more of a dip here on these phones. And the Armor 10, though, still holding at 300,000. The Redmi Note 9 Pro 5G at 348. Let's check these CPU temps. There we see it 46 degrees on the Mi 10T Pro, 55 on the Dimensity 1000 Plus Realme X7 Pro, 41 on the Note 9 Pro 5G, 43 degrees, 42 on the Dimensity 800 here. And let's see how the Poco M3 wraps up. And 100 169 it's definitely taking a dip and now measuring the ambient temps of the phones 41.2 high that means it's past 42 it is very hot high as well here on the redmi note 9 pro 5g 38.5 on the dimensity 800 37.6 on the poco m3 so here we go test number five and let's see if we get some major throttling happening now in this intense and to do throttling test let's have a look Okay, test number five completed. You see there the Realme X7 Pro, and let's look at these results. Wow, the Redmi Note 9 Pro 5G holding its own here in the 350,000 range. The Realme X7 Pro has dipped a little bit. It's down in the low 500s. The Mi 10T Pro's at 568, and you notice it here. It's gotten pretty hot, so it keeps sliding around. But the Armor 10 5G Dimensity 800 holding its own here at 301,000. Checking the CPU temps now of these phones. 48, 47 on the Mi 10T Pro getting hot. 55, 57 for a second there. 41 degrees on the Redmi Note 9 Pro 5G. 44 now getting a bit warmer in here on the Dimensity 800. And finally wrapping up on the Poco M3, 168. So pretty impressive results from all these phones. I haven't seen any major throttling, but the Realme X7 Pro is definitely getting super hot. Let's wrap up this test now. Test number six on these phones and measuring the the CPU temps you see right here these phones are supremely hot now all in the 42 43 range except for these two phones but let's see how they do here in test number six Okay, here we go, wrapping up test number six, and there you see it, finally dipping below the 300,000 mark. Let's look at these results. 548,000 for the Mi 10T Pro, 508 for the Realme X7 Pro, 348 for the Redmi Note 9 Pro 5G, and waiting on the Poco M3 as well. Now checking the CPU temps, 48 degrees on the Mi 10T Pro, 58, did I just see that, on the Dimensity 1000 Plus Realme X7 Pro. Very impressive here on the Redmi Note 9 Pro 5G. Dimensity 800, 43 degrees. And finally, we're gonna get the Poco M3, the results. Let's have a look. 166, it barely dipped throughout this test. And last but not least, we measure the ambient temps, and these should all be very high. There you see it. This thermometer doesn't really help measure at this point. 39.3 though, still on the Armor 5G. 38.2, stay the coolest here on the Poco M3. So now let's go ahead and wrap up this test. There we go. All done at one hour and 10 minutes and let's talk about these results. So I think all of these phones did a pretty solid job not falling down too much in this test. The Mi 10T Pro did a solid job. It did hit 50 degrees, but the story with the Realme X7 Pro, it overheated quite a lot. Meanwhile, the Armor 10 5G with the Dimensity 800, it dipped maybe 20,000 points, but it did so staying very cool, only hitting a max temperature here of 43.6 degrees. The Poco M3 was the most underpowered, but it stayed very close and it stayed cool as well, even though I think the CPU monitor was giving incorrect readings here I think it was closer to 42 in the N22 CPU temp so all in all I can tell you that the biggest loser of this test is in my opinion the Realme X7 Pro this phone just got way too hot and is almost painful to touch at this point it's just not comfortable to know that your phone is gonna get this hot and that's probably going to cause problems for battery life and for other things in the future but guys there's only one phone here that actually did not throttle it actually got better and that is the Redmi Note 9 Pro 5G. I had to look at the results and I couldn't believe that this phone actually ended with 2,000 points more than when it started this test.
And I think given the fact that this is an Antutu throttling test, if there's one phone that at the end of six tests actually does better, that phone needs to automatically win. So it doesn't matter if the Armor 10 5G did stay cooler, it dropped 20,000 points. And the other phones also dropped quite a bit. But there's only one phone here that didn't drop, it actually went up in scores. And because of that, the hands down winner of this Antutu throttling test is the Redmi Note 9 Pro 5G. It delivered the most astounding result of any phone that I've ever tested by actually getting a higher score at the end. And despite getting a little bit warmer than the Armor 10 5G, I think it deserves the win as a result. So here are the results guys and I put them in a nice table so you can see how much each of these phones dropped off and you can also see the battery depletion with this test definitely taxing these phones but the large capacity phones like the Poco M3 and the Eulophone Armor 5G doing very well with battery loss. But hit me up in the comments, which of these phones do you think did best? And are you surprised to see phones like the Realme X7 Pro overheat this much? Hit me up in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video, if you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Reggie Tech, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for future updates. The Realme X7 Pro just wants to go to bed, it has done enough today. Thanks for watching this and Tutu throttling test here on the channel, stay tuned for more great content coming up, and this is where I leave you by saying... This is Frankie Tech, signing off. Have a good one.